First start by securing your thread to the hook, and once it's secured, snip off the excess thread, and then take your thread back to the bend of the hook. Next, we're going to tie on the body. The body is going to be made out of peacock. We're going to select three strands of peacock, and then secure them in at the bend of the hook. Be sure that all your peacock is nice and secure down, and then return your thread back to the bend of the hook. Now normally for strength we would add some copper wire here, but check out this new technique. What we're going to do is we're going to wrap the peacock curl around the thread itself, almost like we're dubbing the peacock curl on the thread. And once we have enough around the thread, we're going to wrap that forward on the hook shank to about two-thirds the length of the shank. This will not only make our fly tying go by a little faster, but it'll also add strength to your peacock body. And once you've wrapped it to two-thirds the length of the shank, secure it down and snip off the excess. and all snipped away, a few extra security wraps help hold everything down. Next, we're going to add the wing. With stacked elk hair, we're going to measure the wing so that it goes slightly past the body, and then secure it down at that two-thirds point. And once the hair is nice and secure, snip off the excess. Once the excess hair is all snipped away, add a few extra security wraps to hold down all those loose fibers. And next we're going to add the legs. The legs are going to be made out of a brown saddle hackle. We're going to secure that down on top of the shank of the hook and then bring our thread forward to just shy the eye. Now take your saddle hackle and wrap it around the shank of the hook about four or five times or until you've reached the eye of the hook. But once you're at the eye, it's time to secure it down. Once it's nice and secure, snip off the excess, and it's time to whip finish. When you're whip finishing, do your best to not capture any of the hackle while you're whip finishing. That way you can secure your thread nice and clean, and then snip it off. And once it's gone, you have yourself a peacock cast.